We got an autographed card, a certificate of authenticity. Someone sent us a real big box. Last year I made a video where I tried to get an autograph from a player on every team in the NFL and ended up getting one autograph from Super Bowl 56 champion punter Johnny Hecker. That's insane. And that video got me wondering, how many autographs or free merch items can I get if I ask every NBA team? So my mission today is to contact every team in the NBA, kindly ask them for some autographs or some merch and see which teams respond. The first thing I did was compile a list of the mailing address for every NBA team and then I wrote a handwritten letter to each team in which I kindly asked if it would be possible for them to please send me any autographs or merchandise. And for some teams, I had specific fond memories of watching them during particular games or playoff runs, so I also included those more personal memories in the letters to those teams as well. I then addressed and stamped each envelope and also included a self-addressed envelope inside the main envelope so that teams could easily send mail back to me. Since there were 30 addresses and 30 teams to write to, this process ended up taking a couple of days. Done with the East? Onto the West. Once I finished packing all the letters, it was time for the final step, sending them off into the hands of the trusty US Postal Service to reach their final destination. But there was one tiny problem. I have not mailed a letter to the Toronto Raptors yet because they're in Canada, and I didn't know how to mail something to uh, Canada. After doing some research and finding out that my self-addressed envelope would need some Canadian stamps, I ordered them online from the Canadian Postal Service. And once they arrived about a week later, I was able to finish preparing the letter to the Raptors and put it in the mail. And after sending this final letter on its way to Canada, it was time to sit back and wait. And while I was waiting for mail to arrive, I decided to go to a game and see if I could get any autographs or free stuff in person. But unfortunately, I was not able to get any autographs and obviously none of the stuff in any of the merch shops uh, was free. You think any of this is free? Probably not. But it was a promotional Kyle Kuzma bobblehead night. So as I entered the arena, I received this, a Kyle Kuzma pink sweater bobblehead. His arms like swing and stuff, which is really cool. So even though I got no autographs and uh, there was no free stuff in the merch shops, obviously, it was not a total loss because I did get this very cool bobblehead. So this mission is off to a good start. And after a couple of weeks of checking the mailbox daily, some mail finally started to come in. And the first piece of mail I got back was from the Utah Jazz. Let's see here. We're getting a lot of stickers. Very nice. I love this logo. It's a great logo. Uh, we got a second sticker. Another beautiful sticker. We got three Jazz player cards here. Not signed, but still very cool. We got Markinen, we got Jordan Clarkson, and we got Walker Kessler. So three very cool cards here from the Jazz. Thank you to the Jazz. The second piece of mail I got back was from the Detroit Pistons. Ooh, wow. That is just a giant thing of stickers. Can you see that? It is just full of stickers. That throwback Detroit Pistons, the classic Pistons logo. Ooh, this one's nice. I like the little DET. Very cool stuff. I'll put some of these on stuff. Thank you, Detroit. And they also sent us a pin that says different by design. The Pistons ended up sending me nine different stickers along with the pins. So big thank you to the Pistons. The third piece of mail I got was from the Portland Trailblazers. We are opening it with extreme caution and care. Something laminated in here. Oh boy. We got two laminated game schedules. Inside the big envelope, the Trailblazers actually included a smaller envelope with even more stuff in it. Okay. Oh, wow. There's something inside of this envelope. Oh, we got a little something, something. We got a little Portland Trailblazers bumper sticker. That's nice. A little Rip City. Another Rip City one. It's a nice quality sticker. Another Trailblazers sticker. And we got two signed player cards here. We got Maurice Harkless and Al Farouk Aminu. Neither of them are on the Blazers anymore, but still really cool. And I think these are actually signed. I don't think these are like reprints. Uh, so that's really cool. Thank you to the Trailblazers. I'm going to put these up on my wall somewhere. These two autographed cards the first we've gotten back and give us an autograph total of two so far. After only a few more weeks of waiting, I got a piece of mail back from three more teams. The first of which was the Indiana Pacers. Let's see. Oh boy. We got an autographed large card from O'Shea Brissett, autographed here in the corner with a nice little gold Sharpie and a certificate of authenticity signed by uh, an Indiana Pacers representative. Legitimately an autograph item here. Thank you very much to the Pacers and O'Shea himself. That is very cool. I'm going to frame this. I'm going to put it up on my wall. This O'Shea Brissett autograph card brings our autograph total to three. And the next team to send a piece of mail was the Atlanta Hawks. First of all, we have a, ooh, Atlanta Hawks game schedule magnet. Big, this is a hearty magnet too. We have a wristband. Look at that. That's a nice green. You got the logo there with the lime green. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on now because I love a good wristband. Thank you Hawks very much. I really appreciate it. I've opened mail from five different teams so far and now it's time to open this very large box that was sent by the Brooklyn Nets. This one is a big one. slice -a here. Oh boy, we got a couple of things in here. First off, we got this nice Nice ball, nice and inflated. Smells good, smells nice and fresh. Thank you very much. We got a folder here. Oh wow, we got a Nick Claxton signed picture, big picture. This is a, not a photocopy, this is a real autograph with a certificate of authenticity as well. So this is legit. I'm gonna frame this picture, put it up on wall. This beautifully signed Nick Claxton picture takes our autograph total up to four. But there's a little more in the box still. There's a lot in this box actually. Let me go ahead and read this letter. It says, hi Philip. thank you for your letter. Hope these goodies brighten your day. From your friends at the Brooklyn Nets. Dude, Aww. the Nets are awesome. 
with a smiley face at the end. Some great people over in the Nets organization. So kind. You guys are the best. There's a bag here. We'll see what else is in here. Oh my goodness gracious me. Wow, they sent, what? Oh my goodness, they sent me a jersey. NBA Authentic. Look at that. Woo! That is clean looking. That is crazy. Oh, it's got that fresh jersey smell. It's my size too. That is incredible. The Nets are really hooking me up nice. I cannot say thank you enough. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Oh yeah, look at that. They've really gone all out and there's still more in the back. We got a little Brooklyn Nets tee. That's nice, that's a nice looking tee. Couple Brooklyn Nets stickers here. I love a good sticker. Add them to the sticker collection. And we got a couple wristbands. I'll go ahead and slap these guys on. So that is what we got from the Brooklyn Nets. We got this bag, wristbands, shirt, stickers, signed picture with a letter of authenticity, this basketball. I'll be watching the Nets games this season with my nice new jersey on. So thank you very much to the Nets. My gratitude knows no bounds. Great people over there doing some great work. So far, six different teams have sent me mail, and after another week of waiting by the mailbox, I got mail from a seventh team, the Minnesota Timberwolves. It feels like another wristband. As you know, I love a good wristband, so I'd be very happy. Ooh, wow, there's actually a lot in here. Ooh, now this is new. We got some tattoos. Very cool, we got, wait, are these tattoos? Oh, keyboard letter tattoos. So they're just stickers, but they're like a little more fancy. Oh, okay. We got a little autograph here. We got Crunch, Minnesota Timberwolves mascot here. Look at him dunking that ball. That's crazy. And we also got an autograph from Prowl, the Minnesota Lynx mascot here. Even though they're not players and they're mascots, and I'm not totally sure if it's a real autograph, I'm still going to count this because there's nothing better than a good mascot. We got some, oh, are these magnets? A Minnesota Timberwolves, Minnesota Lynx, and a shoe. A very cool magnets. I'm going to put these up on something metal. There it is. That's the wristband. Oh, yeah. That is a quality piece of rubber right there for sure. We got a nice handwritten letter. It says, thank you for being a fan of the team, Philip! Exclamation mark. Your friends at the Lynx and Timberwolves. That is very nice. Thank you guys so much. I am very, very grateful for you guys taking the time to send this stuff to me. I am very, very appreciative. These two autographs from the Minnesota Timberwolves mascots take our final autograph total up to six. So after sending a letter to all 30 NBA teams, these are the seven that sent mail back. And of course, a massive, huge shout out and thank you to all seven of the teams. And if I get any more mail from any other teams after this video, I'll post those on my Instagram. So you can follow me on my Instagram if you want at philip underscore IA. You don't have to. You definitely don't have to follow me over there, but just if you want to. So that is it for today. If you like this video, let me know. If you hated it, let me know even more. And I'll catch y'all next time.